Well, yesterday, the Progressive Liberal Party revealed its 10-point plan to address struggling homeowners. A PLP administration plans to encourage lending agencies to agree to a 120-day moratorium on foreclosures and encourage them to write off 100% of the unpaid interest and fees on troubled mortgages. Well, the Democratic National Alliance is weighing in on the issue, calling the PLP's plan impractical, noting that banks are in the business of making money and they make their profits from interest and fees. The DNA also notes that in 2008, the FNM administration promised to offer assistance to struggling homeowners, and now, four years later, they have failed to deliver. Party leader Branville McCartney says the government should have directed the central bank to lower the prime interest rate to lessen profits of commercial banks in the short term, thus increasing the possibility that thousands of Bahamians could save their homes. Meantime, the DNA proposes three possible solutions to the problem, a reduction of the central bank rate, a reduction in the principal on troubled mortgages by 50 percent with lower interest rates, and a government reduction of its expenditure on some infrastructural works, leaving room for a foreclosure fund in its budget.